YouTube, it's your girl Jay and I'm back at it again with another video for y'all. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are a return subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button. If you want to go follow my Instagram or my TikTok, it was at the beginning of the video, but it'll also be at the end of the video. Maybe, maybe not, because I'm about to make a new intro, but I'll still go on Instagram. So as you guys can tell by the title today, I am about to be talking about, um, I was gonna say something else. I was gonna say one of my topics. I'm about to be talking about red flags in a relationship. So, I don't know if you feel like my phone's too far back. I don't know. Y'all, I'm still kind of trying to get it set up here, but whatever. I just want to get a video done for y'all. So, if you have if you haven't seen i've been seeing like a lot of posts on around of the red flags somewhere on the screen and people have been talking about like red flags maybe i'm talking about green flags i don't know let me know if y'all want a part two but um i'm gonna do red flags this is only my opinion um this is not anything i'm going through i'm just saying what i see from the outside looking in and at people's relationships especially people on social media i'm just saying my opinion what i think this is not towards anybody's relationship this is not towards my relationship this is just a general video in my opinion from what i see in movies shows and i'm like mm, no but anyways make sure you guys like comment subscribe let me know any other videos you all want to see on my channel so let's get right up into this video so the first one i have is like controlling controlling is a red flag to me one because it's like what are you doing like why are you trying to tell me what i can and can't do you feel me i feel like when two people get into a relationship they should honestly be able to accept each other and um i'm not gonna say like you want to accept everything and if you're not willing to accept everything about a person, but you really love that person, you really want to be with that person, I say fight to the finish. <laughs> Try to um just be accepting. Because if you really love that person, you're not going to <laughs> stutter much. You're not going to try to control what they do. Um, Especially like if you have like a significant other that be like, oh, you can't go out. You can't go with your friends. Or, like, some people be making, like, their significant other drop friends and stuff like that. And I feel like that is controlling because it's, like, you're controlling when and when I can't go out. And I feel like that's when a lot of people in a relationship um, lose friends, lose a lot of, you know, friendships and stuff like that with other people. Then again, sometimes, most of the time, your significant other really be right about snake people. I ain't gonna cap to you. But it's like your significant other should be comfortable with you going out because if they're not, that means that they don't trust you. So, I mean, if you cheated or something before, then that's understandable why they don't trust you to go out. But yeah. Oh my God, what is in my eye? All right. That's how I feel about the controlling one. Not really like, yeah. Um, assumptions assumptions is like i feel you know what is it called? assumptions is like a big thing a big red flag to me because it's really annoying when someone is sitting there constantly asking you have you cheated on me oh you've been with this person just assuming so much about you and it's really really annoying when you know that you're telling the truth or you know that you did something right and your person is trying to tell you that you're lying like that's again where the trust comes in at like if you don't trust me just say that but like assuming like i'm cheating on you or something like that when i haven't shown no type of thing that i'm cheating on you you know like no sign that i'm cheating on you then that's starting having me thinking like dang what have you done you know like what have you done to me have you cheated before did you do something you feel me that's kind of how I feel when it comes to assumptions. Just assuming like you did something annoying, you didn't do it type of thing. My next one is, this one is kind of like into me. But if I meet you 
and you talking about you have a girl best friend we're done i don't care like for me i don't do the best friend thing i don't do the boy best friend and the girl best friend i don't do that like i have a girl best friend and that's the end of the discussion i'm not gonna be out here having no boy best friend because you, we be knowing people's what is it like i'm not saying like you can't have girls that are friends and y'all see each other here and there you know but like when you have a best friend y'all talking all day every day that's what a best friend is in my opinion some people don't talk to their best friend every day but i know for me i talk to my best friend every day so if i were to have a boy best friend i would be talking to him every day if my significant other were to have a girl best friend they would be talking every day and that's not how it's supposed to be you're supposed to talk to me every day you feel me like what do you need a best friend for when you have me i don't know i just feel like it's, it shouldn't be different but i just feel like it's different when it's a girl and a dude it really shouldn't be different but it's like hmm. but I, honestly i feel like it's the same though for boys and girls let me rephrase this i feel like if my significant other wants to have a boy best friend that's fine that kind of sounds weird because dudes just be weird but i feel like it's okay if my significant other wants to have a close friend that's a dude you feel me but if you out here with girls and y'all are like mad close to the point where y'all talking every single day you know like you going to her for advice and all this stuff like go to your mom for advice why are you going to another female for advice because come on now like we all know what's going to end up happening i mean i'm not saying that's everyone's intentions but like i said this video was just strictly my opinion if you do have a boy best friend and you're with your significant other and vice versa then that's on y'all but me i don't accept that because i'm here why do you need another female in your face that's just weird to me another red flag to me is when someone is like you're the only person i talk to like especially like if i didn't bring it up like why are you telling me i'm the only person you talk to <clears throat> like to me that means like you the only one person i talk to for today and i'm gonna tell the next person that tomorrow that to me is just like i don't know for real but that's just Mm -mm. like okay you telling me that for what and this is the last one i have for y'all this one is a big one for me i'm not gonna cap <coughs> excuse me a red flag in my opinion is when someone thinks that they're never wrong it gets me heated when someone just can't simply admit that you're wrong like how are you not wrong every single time you're right like in a relationship i feel like the other person should be able to tell that person when they're wrong and the other person shouldn't get mad that's part of a relationship is teaching each other and helping each other grow so if your significant other is telling you something that you did wrong and you know you did it wrong why are you trying to make yourself look good just apologize and let the situation be done with you know it's like people and i feel like that's when arguments get started like why are you dragging on the situation when it could have been solved but since you don't want to say that you did this wrong and let the thing be over with now it's an argument but i don't know so that's all i really got this is really a short video not really honestly i really want to start posting more y'all it's just i don't be having storage on my phone i'm not gonna cap ghetto i know but um i'm trying to get a camera especially because i start school in a month and i really want to document and vlog all of that stuff for you guys because i know that's going to be some interesting content so um yeah make sure y'all subscribe so y'all can stay tuned for that because december is gonna be up period um yeah y'all so i know i'm looking crazy i'm about to go do my hair 
but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up let me know about y'all opinions that i just said down below or any other red flag flags y'all think if you comment a red flag down below put the red flag emoji down below spam that in the comments and yeah i'm gonna see y'all in another video peace oh my laptop almost fell uh.